Welcome back to Alyssa's Movie Takes. Today we have the rollout of the Chosen Season 3 trailer, and I am excited to see what we have in store for Season 3. Now, The Chosen first rose to prominence in 2020, was released in 2019, but really gained traction in 2020 during the initial shutdown. And ever since then, the word of mouth has just grown and grown. They have hundreds of millions of views on their app, online, on YouTube. Most of us are now very familiar with Dallas and, and his style of being the showrunner for the show. He directs, he created it, and he wrote most of the season, uh, along with some co-writers as well. So I am excited to see how this is going to play out. So season one, you had all of these characters that you were getting to know. Simon, Matthew, Andrew, Mary, even Jesus was slowly introduced to us. And it culminated in Jesus showing his power in season, in episode six, in episode six, where Nicodemus saw, oh my goodness, that's the power he has. Matthew was in awe of what Jesus could do and knew his life would never be the same. The disciples that he had already chosen were, were getting closer together, showing off their personalities. And then in season seven, you had the rooftop encounter with Nicodemus, and then you had the calling of Matthew. And then by the end of episode eight, episodes, not seasons, you know what I mean? Episode eight, Jesus was ready to begin his public ministry, essentially, because he was introducing himself in Samaria as the Messiah. Season two picked up right where season one left off with Jesus in Samaria. And that season went a little more episodic. There was not as strong of an arc over the course of the season because it was heavily focused on the character development of the disciples and a little bit of character development with the Pharisees. We didn't have the same villain in... Oh my goodness, what is his name? Quintus. We didn't have the same villain as we did in Quintus as much. He came in in one episode. Um, so I don't know what kind of villains we're going to see this season. Are we going to kind of start to see them all come together? Or is it going to be maybe one or the other? Because you basically have Rome on the lookout for Jesus, and you have the Jewish Pharisees on the lookout for Jesus. Uh, as the time and the story keeps getting bigger and bigger because there was such a clash by the time the curse of fiction happens of all of these worlds happening at once, which does make for a pretty cool backdrop of the storytelling. But I don't know. What are we going to see in this trailer? I know that we're probably going to see the feeding of the 5,000, but I don't know what other events we're going to see in Jesus' life. So with that in mind, let's just take a look at what Dallas and the team at The Chosen has in store for us for season three. I'm excited. You look troubled. I, uh, oh, there we have it, something. right from the part. I know what that's like. What are you losing? Mm. Time. Ah, uh, hmm, good nine. I say to you, love your enemies mm. and pray for those who persecute mm. you. Okay, that's the Beatitudes. That's from the Sermon Someone on the Mount, which is where we ended in season two. If you Someone really touched me. Who Ooh, woman with the issue of blood. For someone else. Go and tell John what you hear and see. Oh, that's one of my favorite lines in the Bible. Okay, he's going to start to raise people from the dead. It's him. Some old familiar faces there. I'm Judas of Kerioth. Oh, he's such a good actor. I have chosen you twelve as my apostles. I love it when they do that shot of Jesus looking all cool, looking all in control, looking like he's the, he's the guy. It's different than how he's been portrayed. In your hearts. But he has control. The middle of such that was the Roman spy essentially Quintus. Okay, we're starting to get all of our villains, revealed to you. all of our seekers. I mean, a lot of the Bible is Jesus healing people, so there are going to be a lot of healings in this show. All who labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Ah, uh, yes, more raising of the dead. A scourge of false prophecy must. He was introduced stop. last season, I don't remember his name. Jesus, if you do not renounce okay, so your Okay, so now words, you're starting to get the Sanhedrin, which, is the, which are the no Pharisees of power. That's exciting. The law of Moses. I am the law of Moses. Ooh. All right, we've got some Jesus good writing here. More valuable than gold, more precious than rubies. Force them out. We are still... Rome. All oh, right, there's Rome again. Good, there's some escalation. Everyone then who hears these words, oh, the disciples are, are starting to get along. <laughs> oh, like some romance with Simon and Eden. Who 
Well, his his, house his name gets changed. I'm the one who caused their hunger. There it is, the feeding of the be the one to feed them. Oh, those extras? The chosen. He who has ears to hear, let him hear. Straight from scripture. Oh, the chosen TV slash three. Of the chosen. Oh, hey, Dallas. Tell you real quick that episodes one and two of season I'm going to link to the trailer so you can watch it for real. Theaters, November 18th. Yes, theaters. Yeah, I'm so excited. They're going to the release it in theaters. The um, they are doing it through Fathom up, Events. Sure to watch um, they broke records two, last year. I was kind of hoping they would do a wide release, but I guess, you know, Fathom Events is cool, too. Uh, I thought that that trailer was very well done. Their production values keep going up. They were not bad to begin with, but they keep increasing. Partly that's because, you know, they fundraise and they're able to keep having bigger budgets for each season. We do get a lot of the villains that I was hoping to see all in one place. Uh, things are obviously starting to escalate and that's going to make for good storytelling as we go through because, hmm, you know, we like a big, nice big backdrop and we like to m make sure as we watch TV that there's something that they have something to lose. Now, some of those lines, you know, are their, their like favorite lines that they wrote throughout the course of the course of the season. But uh, Jesus has some good lines in there. Some of them are from the Bible. Some of them are just, you know, chosen lines. And that's cool. Uh, I'm excited for season three. I think it looks like it's going to be really good. What do you think? That is my take on the trailer. Are you excited to see it in theaters? Are you going to wait for it to be released on the free app? or on YouTube, let me know in the comments below what you're looking most forward to in season three, and I will talk to you soon.